question number 15 okay the point source emits a sound wave of amplitude z okay you have a source here which is emitting an amplitude sound wave of amplitude z person stands a distance l person stands a distance l from the source from the source okay so let us say this is p the amplitude is changed to z okay let me take one more diagram to z what distance must the person move though through in order to hear the original intensity again so let us say he should definitely move away he should move away from here like this okay let's be in new position over here so what is the intensity intensity remains the same now we know intensity depends upon the distance it depends upon the amplitude it's given by this way i in the first case should be equal to a square of the amplitude and it also depends upon the distance which should be l square in the second case what happens your i dash becomes 2z the whole square 4z square divided by i do not know what is this distance let us say x x square over here okay let us find so he says i equal to i dash i equal to i dash so as a result of it what will happen now we have z square by l square is equal to 4 this is z square right 4 z square divided by x square z square z square goes off so i have x square equal to 4 l square the x is equal to 2 l so this total distance should be 2 l now what is being asked now distance what distance must be moved for the person move though in order to hear the original intensity from here what is the ne next distance that has been moved which means what he should move an additional distance of l from here so the answer is a not 2a okay let us move on to the final next